Hello everybody and welcome back to this part 3 of the Here Comes the Pain modding series and in this tutorial I will show you how to import the selection pictures and we need to do this three times uh, because there are three different types of uh, selection pictures one for the singles match, for one for season mode and one for uh, multi-man matches so in the video description you will find a download link for a custom menu.pack which is located in the pack folder of your ISO when you extract it. I will show you it. There is the menu.pack. Uh, originally it is uh, under 6 megabytes and I made a customized menu.pack for you because this file is a little bit different built than the other pack files for example the character.pack because the header in this file also gives you where the file is located so when you uh, when you change the size of one file in it you have to update each uh, location from the other files and that's really a pain in the ass so I did the work for you so you can import selection pictures without any problems and I will show you how to do it so when you have downloaded the customized and edited menu.pack from me you should have the should have a zip archive and I will use this WWE 13 render of Antonio, Antonio Cesaro as we remember we mod Antonio Cesaro into the game and yeah and we need a Nice little, nice little program called uh, RR, which stands for Rumble Roses Unpack, and this customized menu.pack, as I said before. We just drag and drop um, our pack file over in this exe, and we get a DOS box, which you haven't seen, but you will get a folder. And I will show you where the files are located. So go into this folder, then go into menu then you have another list of folders and these these folders are the ones you are sh you should looking for so let's start you will see you have a pack file in there with a lot of tm2 files as you as you can see the ending isn't exactly right uh, you could rename all of those with a rename program like advanced renamer but since i know which one i want to edit I don't need to do that with all of them. So let's open a list of the character IDs, but this time for the selection pictures. Um, the link for that overview is also in the video description. I will just open this. Here's a tutorial index I made. And there you find the selection pictures IDs made by hardx36. So, Chris Benoit, as we remember, is our wanted character to replace. So we are looking for the 9 file. And we can go back to the folder we just opened. Give me a minute. There it is. So where is our file we wanted? It is there. So we are gonna copy this. And we'll make it like this. And I will make an A before that, so I know which uh, in which pack file it was. So then I will go into the B file and copy also in the 9.tm2 and paste it right there. Gonna rename it also. And last but not least, the C file and there is our wanted file so as i said we need to rename the endings or the file types and i will do that in a in a second so just rename them to tm2 and not to tim2 and we can open them with optics image studio so just drag and drop all of them. As you can see, it's Chris Benoit and the background is transparent. You can see this by right clicking on the image and click on alpha blending display and you can see the background is transparent. And now we're going to make a custom selection picture in all these dim dimension. As you can see, this is just a smaller version of this and then we need to 
adjust the file size for this or the expect ratio. So I'm gonna open up Photoshop and we can see we will start with 246 by 128. So let's do this and make sure that your background is transparent. So you have this and I will drag and drop Antonio Cesaro in or on the render of him and I'm gonna scale it a little bit make sure that this is in the middle so that should be about right we'll do this all right now comes a little awkward step you need to you need to decrease the occupacity to 50 percent just do it it will work and since this is the first selection picture i will just save it as png so we have the transparency give me a minute uh, there and it should be for the a file all right so yes and we remember the same aspect ratio but um, in 128 by 64 is also needed so i'm gonna resize the image okay and save it again but i don't know which it was it was the c file and i can see i was mistaken the a file was for the season mode so i'm gonna rename it in a moment it was uh, b i think yes it should be then we have uh, we need two ah we need to save this also of course this time as c dot png and now we go into uh, cut a bit from the image away and I'm gonna do this, do this by the following as I will see 128 by 128 all right gonna cut something away image and in pixel of course there was a mistake so uh, I'm gonna undo some steps so when so we have our original format by 246 by <laughs> so we have our original format 246 by 128 so now cut something away and then everything should be about right as you can see this is what we wanted and save this also as png and as a all right so now we have our PNG files which are half transparent as you can see here but this is needed so I'm gonna gonna close these and open all of them all the PNG files in optics image studio for PS2 as you can see the background looks a bit weird but this doesn't matter so I'm gonna blend in or I will let the polite list window show up so we have this and we're going to start to modify all of these so let's start with this and when we select alpha blend and display you can see the background is also transparent i'm gonna do a right click and color reduction and since it was 246 colors i will click on color reduction make sure the alpha channel is also included into the um, reduce color process reduce color so this is our final product with the alpha channel set and when I click again alpha blending display you can see the background is all so transparent so I will overwrite this um, or I will uh, create a new file so I have the original file which I need to locate and to replace later and I will do this uh, steps I will do the steps I just made with all the other images and I'm gonna fast forward this.
All right, and also make sure that your alpha channel settings are rightfully set as here. So now we have our finished TM2 files and we need them to be imported in the menu.pack and I'm gonna open the menu.pack with an hex editor or the customized menu.pack and we will search for our original files. I'm gonna open all of them in the hex editor. So this, this and this. Or I will I will show you how it's done with one and then I'm gonna fast forward the the steps for the other ones because they are the same. So I will start with the A one. So this is the original one and this is what I'm what, what this is what I want to replace. And I will take some lines which probably are just ones in this whole pack file. So I'm gonna search for these and take a look if I'm if I just get one result and <laughs> this isn't quite one result so I'm gonna search for some lines again maybe like this copy and search again how many results I get one instant and this is what we wanted then scroll up to the tm2 string so you have this and select the size of the original one gonna reset the offset all right the size is oh, oh i made a mistake there undo this so the size is 4440 and i'm gonna select this block with this size all right and hex of course and then when this is selected, I'm gonna copy all of the new TM2 file and just paste it in there and so I have it replaced. And this is these are the steps I'm gonna do with the other two and make sure you always select the right size. So I'm gonna fast forward this again and I will see you in a bit. So now I have everything done, I'm just gonna save it and we need to import this menu.pack again to our original pack folder and just copy and paste in this when you have the ISO extracted of course. So there it is, our menu.pack and I'm gonna replace it and I will rebuild the ISO of course again with expert.exe as I have shown in the previous tutorials. So open, down, no, there is my games overview. Here comes the pane, PAL, extract LBA again and reboot the file. And after that I reboot the LBA too. And then I'm gonna start the game and we will see you. We will, I will see you <laughs> in a bit. So welcome back. So I'm on the start screen and I will test everything out. So I'm gonna do a singles match and see if our Chris Benoit aka Antonio Cesaro has this right has the right texture or the right selection picture as we can see it worked without any problems. So we have the name, we have the selection picture and I will take a look if his selection picture is also set on a multi-man match. So I'm gonna do uh, an elimination chamber so one player and I'm gonna search for him so this is the uh, little selection pick uh, chair maybe for tag team match the other texture is used I don't know uh, well not really but somehow and somewhere it will be used and on the, in the season mode is also rightfully set I think so I'm gonna take a look if everything worked so 
it should load. Well, for whatever reason, the season mode, or when I want to start a new season, um, won't load up. For whatever reason, as I said, um, if I find out for what reason this is happening, or if I find the solution, or if this just if this is just a one-time thing, I will inform you and will let you know. And I hope I helped you with this tutorial again. As you have seen, the selection picture worked without any problems in exhibition mode or in singles match mode or whatever. And I will see you in the next tutorial where you learn how to uh, import an entrance theme. And yeah, since then, have a nice day.